Welcome, my friends, to a new episode of Frameworks. Well, um, in this episode, I'm not going to talk about a new framework, uh, but I'm going to respond to one of the comments that I received on um, the speaking framework. Um, one of the subscribers asked me to um, release a video where he or she can see the speaking framework in action. Um, and this is what um, I did in this video. So in this coming video, you're going to see the speaking framework in action with elementary students at British U. And in this video, it was the first time for me to meet those wonderful students. And I actually used this wonderful course book um, in this video and specifically this lovely page. So let's see how the speak and framework worked with this elementary group. Let's go. Okay, my friends, we've got here things in common. Okay, what does that mean, things in common? Mm, things in common. Let me help you. I like swimming. Do you like swimming? Yes. Okay, good. So we have something in common. I like swimming, you like swimming. I love pizza. What about you? Do you love pizza? No. You don't. So we don't have, okay? So this is not something in common between me and you, right? So what about you? Do you like pizza? No, you don't like pizza as well. Right, what about um, sports? Yes. You, you like sports? So we have something in common here. I like sports as well. So things in common are things that you share. Things you like or maybe things you hate. Okay? Right, so this is what we're going to talk about in this lesson. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. So my friends, here, I've got a listening activity, okay? So listen and number the topics you hear. So we've got here some topics. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven topics. What you need to do is to number them, which one you hear first. Okay, so the one you hear first, you're going to write Number one, two, three. So, are you going to write words or numbers? numbers. Yeah, numbers, right. Have a look first. I've got a lovely flat in the city centre, just near the station. 
and I live with some friends. How oh, fantastic. I still live with my parents in Kingston. Do you know where that is? Six. So, where are you from? I'm from South Africa. Do You're from Argentina, aren't you? Well, Chile, actually. Santiago. Seven. Because I haven't got any brothers and sisters, you see. I'm an only child. Yeah, me too. Do you like being at home? Mm. One more time? Would you like to listen again? No. <clears throat> one more time. Let's listen one more time and check our answers, okay? Three to one, go. Module three, recording eight. One. You see, I don't usually have breakfast. Okay, so what about um, number one? Number one is? Breakfast. Yeah, that's good. Number two? Uh -huh. Very good. Number three? Very good. Number four? Very good. Number five? <coughs> Where you live, right? And number six? <coughs> Nationality. Seven? <coughs> Excellent. Very good. Now, let's move to... Turn your pages to question Let's move to question number two. In question number two, we're going to listen to the seven conversations again, the seven topics. Now, what I want you to do is to think, do they have something in common or they don't? If they have something in common, then I want you to tick it. If they don't have something in common, I want you to put a cross in there, okay? So if we have something in common, you're going to tick, okay? If we don't have something in common, you're going to cross. Let's do the first one together. Ready? So turn your papers. Let's listen together. Module 3, recording 8. 1. Yes, you see, I don't usually have breakfast. I'm never hungry in the morning. Really? I love breakfast. I have a really big breakfast every day. I love to start. Hmm. Wait a minute. Do they agree or they disagree? Is it tick or cross? Cross. It's cross, yeah. Because she says, listen again, listen to what she said. Module 3, recording 8. 1. I don't usually have breakfast. I don't usually have breakfast. Now, now listen to what he said. I'm never hungry in the morning. Really? I love <laughs> breakfast. Really? I love breakfast. Okay, so that's a lot. That's a cross. So you know what you're going to do now, eh? Let's do it. Let's continue. Three, two, one, go. I have a really big breakfast every day. I love to start. So anyway, because I'm 30 this year, uh, I want to... Are you 30 this year? Really? Me too. It's horrible, isn't it? Three. Are you married? No. How about you? No, me neither. Four. So, do you eat meat? No, I don't. How about you? Yes, I eat a little bit. But not much. Five. Yeah, and I'm really lucky I've got a lovely flat in the city centre, just near the station. And I live with some friends. How fantastic. I still live with my parents in Kingston. Do you know where that is? Six. So, where are you from? I'm from South Africa. Do you're from Argentina, aren't you? Well, Chile, actually. Santiago. Seven. Because I haven't got 
to be brothers and sisters, you see. I'm an only child. Yeah, me too. Do you like being an only? Do you need to listen again, or that's okay? That's okay, good. So, now, check with each other, help each other, go on. So, what about nationality? The same or not? Is it? No, 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 I'm not talking about you, no, I'm talking about the speakers. Nationality, yeah. Oh, okay, so it's a, it's a cross in there, so they don't have this in common, right? Good, yeah. What about brothers and sisters? Are they the same or different? The same, right? Okay, what about age? Same. Yes, okay. What about where you live? Oh, yeah, okay. They're different, they're not the same. Good answer. What about mate? Meat? Yeah, not the same. Yeah, they're different. Breakfast? Yeah, different. We said that already. And married or single? The same. Yes, exactly. Right? Good, good, good. Lovely. So, let me put this aside now. So turn, turn your page sheet. Right, now, look my friends. I've got here four conversations. Conversation A, B, C and D. A, B, C and D. I want you to tell me in which conversation the speakers are the same and in which conversations the speakers are different. So just read and decide. So what are you going to write exactly in front of each conversation? You have two words to write. What are they? Same or? Okay, Doki? Right, turn. Let's read the first conversation together. I am a student, and then B says, me too. So, same or different? Same. Excellent, so write same. That's good. So, on your own. Answer the, the rest of the conversations. It's like me too, but me neither with the negative. Like for example, um, I don't live in London, so you can say me neither. It means that I don't live in London as well. Right? Now, um, what's your name again? Mezzin. So Mezzin, can you have the seat over there? Good. Now, I want you to compare the answers and together compare the answers. Okay, so. My friends, what about conversation A? I am a student, me too. We said that these 
The two speakers are the same. Now, I don't be, I don't have breakfast, really, I do. Very good. I am not married, me neither. Very good. I get up very early. Oh, I don't. Nice, nice. Now. He hates the throw. Now look at this, my friends. Right. So let's say here, same, and here let's say. Same and different, lovely. Now, in order to say, I am the same, we can say what? I am the same. I can say, and instead of I am the same, I can say, me, me what? Me, me too. Me too. Or I can say, me, me. Excellent answer. Me, neither, or me, neither. So I can say me, or me, neither. Very good. Okay. Me too, with positive sentences. But me neither, with negative ones. How? Look at this. Bye. A and B. Do you like ice cream? Do you like ice cream? Yes. Okay. She said, yes. I can say, Why me too? Because this is positive. She said yes. Right? Now, I can say, do you like ice cream? And then she might say, and in this scenario, I would say, me too? Or me neither? Me neither. Me neither. Okay, right. So, me too with Positive, me neither, with very good. Now let's move to this one, the word different, okay? And we have two lovely expressions here, we've got. <coughs> really, and it has to be really, like you're surprised, really, I, I do. Or, Oh, I, I don't. So, for example, do you live in Cairo? No. Hmm, really? I do. I live in Cairo. See? Now, do you live in Dumyat? Do you live in Dumyat? Yes. Oh, I don't. See? Right, one more time. That would be nice. Hmm. Do you love Kawera? No. Oh, hmm, really? I do. I do love Kawera. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, do you love chicken? Yes. Oh, really? I don't. So, oh, oh I don't. So, like that, right? Good. Now, so my friends, we have now. When we're talking about the same, it's me too or me neither. When we're different, we say really I do or oh I. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, turn your pages. Now look at this. In question number one, we have some topics. We have family, we have age, we have school, where you live, language, okay? 
and daily routine. What is daily routine? Yeah, things you do every day. Like what? Yeah, examples. Yeah, going home. Eating. Yeah, taking a shower. Talking on the phone, right? You know, these are things you do every day. Lovely. Now, I want you to write eight questions on these topics. Eight <laughs> questions on these topics. So how many questions are you going to write? How many? How many? Eight questions. For example, um, we have here family. Can you give me a question about family? You can use you can use some of the useful language here. Look at this. Think and give me a question. Yes, Mezzi? Um, Just give me a question like it. Do you want uh, long girls? Do you? Let, let, let me just ask you this first. Do you have brothers? Do you have brothers, Mezzi? No. No brothers. Sisters. Okay, so this is it. So that's a question about? This is a question about family. So how many questions do I want? I want eight questions. About family only, or about all of them? All of them. Right now, I want you to write the questions. Go on. Write eight questions.
Um, who's ready to interview me? This is what we're going to do. You've got a lot of questions now. So you're going to ask me a question, and then you will ask me a question, and then it goes like that. So we're going to take rounds. Now, when I respond, okay, you need to continue the conversation by saying you have four options. Me too, me neither, really I do, or oh. Um, are you ready? Let's start. And that's it? Yes. And do you speak English? Yes, I do. And me too? And you don't have a brother? Oh yeah, I have one brother. Me too. Oh, wonderful. What's your brother's name? Um, Ahmed. Ahmed, oh, okay. Nice name. Right, yes? Hello? Okay. Yes, again. Time. Stay. Stay with my family. Yeah. Mm, uh, well, it's, it's because we teach online these days, so I spend good time with my family. Oh, really? Mm, okay. How much time do you spend with your family? All, all the time, right? And you feel happy about it? Yes. Okay, good, right? So, that's it. Do you speak different English language? Only Arabic is my first language, and English, so yeah, yeah, I speak two languages. Okay, what other languages do you speak? Uh, English, uh, Arabic. Oh, okay. Uh, you are the uh, Study. Is it you are or mm. okay, so you are study? Do you are do you study? study? Do you? Do you study? Mm. Well, yes, I am always a student. I study all the time. Not really. What do you study? Uh, tourists and uh, hotels. Oh. Do you love your study? Yes. Me too. I love English as well. Right. Do you want uh, seven hours? Seven hours. I wish I work more than seven hours. It's crazy. Right. What about you? Nine. Oh, nine hours? Yeah. Okay. Well, me too. Right. I work nine with nine hours. Yeah. Right. Where's it? Do you like do you like uh, with your family? Well, yeah, I'm married, so yeah, I live with my family. You know. mm -hmm. uh, who do you live with? Uh, uh, mother and father. Ah, okay. You're not married. No. Like you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Interesting. So now, my friends, now let me ask you some questions here. Okay. So, um, you spoke to, the name is? Samir. You spoke to Samir, right? And you spoke to Mazin Shaymer, right? Okay. You spoke to Mazin Shaymer. Now, the question is, what are the things in common between you and Mazin Shaymer? The things in common? He went to Yes. Mm -hmm. Age. Age. So you're both 20 or 22? Oh, both of you. What yes. That's interesting. And speak uh, English? Oh, you can say, we both speak English. Yes. Mm. So you live in Dumyan, both of you. Where do you live in Dumyan? Uh, in Letum Sora. And what about you? Mulsafa. You live in Mulsafa itself? Yes. And how is the Safa there? Mulsafa. Mulsafa place, I'm going to Good. Um, now, so thank you so much. You, now, now you tell me, what are the things in common between you and the lady here? Uh, speak English. 
English. We both. And we both uh, speak English. Nice. And we both uh, have a breakfast. Okay. Uh, we both uh, are stu uh, students. Mm. Uh, where, where do you study? And uh, faculty of commerce. Oh, good thing. Here in the world. Yes. Do you like your faculty? Okay. Well, I have to do Okay, so let's talk Mazin. Um, oh yes, I asked both of you. Now, let's talk about some of the notes that someone's saying. Are you... <coughs> speak. Is this correct? No. So what is... How, how do we correct it? Uh, what... Are, are you... Are you speak? Is, is it correct or not? Oh, you're talking about, okay. Let's say English. Is this correct? Yes. Yes. No, there is something wrong. <coughs> oh, yeah. Right? It's not R. It's. Why? Because look at this, that's a verb in here. So it's, do you speak English? Now look at this one. So, you watch TV. So what do I use? Is it do or are? Yeah. Why? Because watch is there. So, to watch TV. Right, and it goes like that. Now look at this. You, a student, is it do or are? No. 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 Ah, no, no, no. It's are. Why? Students are no. That's a? No, no, okay. So, you see? Now look at this. You, Egyptian. Is it do or are? Are. Are Egyptian. Yes. Why? Because Egyptian is? No. Adjective. <laughs> right. Yeah. So with verbs? Yeah. Nouns and adjectives? Good. Now, good. Love it. Now, love it. Now, look at this, my friends. <clears throat> look at this conversation. Do you study? And then be said. And then A said, me too. Is this correct? Excellent. It's me, neither or neither. Why? Negative, right? Okay. So, thank you so much, my friends. Now, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video. And I hope you enjoyed uh, watching the speaking framework in action with elementary students. Thank you so much.